Welcome to Paul's Kitchen. Welcome to Paul's Kitchen. This is Chef Paul. With me is the ever lovely Chef Amy. And Amy and I have a guilty pleasure and we like to make a confession. We like eat McDonald's every now and again first thing in the morning because McDonald's has some really good breakfast. However, there's one big problem. This is more my guilt than Amy's because I love the breakfast burrito. And it's so tiny and thin, you really get nothing out of it. And Amy came up with the idea, well, if you really feel that way, why don't you just make your own? Well, I'm going to share my love for the breakfast burrito with Amy. So over here, I've got some potatoes and onions. I've already made those because those take quite a while, and I was up super early, so I got that done. So instead of having hash browns, I could make them, but nah, those are easy. So we're going to start off with cooking some sausages. These are some Italian sausages. I've cut them up a little bit. They don't need to be the size of what McDonald's gives you because, well, the size McDonald's gives you is garbage. So I'm going to leave the bowl because we're going to put it right back into the bowl. And I need to make sure that we're using the right thing here. And I'm going to turn the, the fan on. So I do, for, I do apologize if it gets a little loud. But we're going to cook this down a little bit. Because, well, nobody likes eating raw meat. And Amy will get after me if we do. But you gotta admit, this looks so good and tasty. I can eat that right now. Does it look good, Amy? Yeah, it looks good. So, here we've got our habanero Monterey Jack and some eggs. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna, and I'll show you, but we're basically gonna put the cheese in there. Whisk it together, we're gonna to make scrambled eggs. I got some green onions. In here I've got uh, bell pepper, green pepper, uh, have our, uh, alpino, and I've also got some, uh, what else do I have in here? I've got some onion, and that's gonna be our veggie for the for it. And I've got, of course, some salsa. Smile. We already got enough heat in here. I've got some hot stuff for Amy if she wants it, but I figure having some jal jalapeno, that's good. Now, full fan, if you're watching this, and I'm pretty sure you will, you can probably put some uh, scotch bonnets in there. It'll give it some nice, rich flavor. Now, when you cut this down, it shouldn't take entirely very long to cut, or to cook, sorry. Won't take long at all. So like I said, got the eggs in here. And we're gonna scramble this. It's basically what, what they do is they do scrambled eggs. And in no way, shape, or form is this gonna be a good coffee cat. Uh, I went back to Superstore yesterday to try to find, and that's our grocery chain, to try to find some chilies. That's what they usually have, but they didn't have any, so I got some pepper, jalapeno instead. Yeah, that's fine. Now, we don't need any salt. Just a little pepper. That's all we need. Give it a good little whisk. And when we're ready to cook this, it will, uh, you'll have like one heck of a good looking scrambled egg. Not hard to do, but we have a Chinese roommate and we're just talking about differences in, in cultures and stuff like this. And we find that a lot of people in our culture uh, would rather just go out in the morning, grab a coffee and get, and just get your, and get some breakfast food that way. Uh, Amy and I, we can be semi-guilty, we don't do it a lot, but we do every now and again. Um, and this is one of the guilty pleasures. I really love getting a breakfast burrito. It just tastes really good. So, Amy's idea, and it's like to save a little bit of money and eat a little bit healthier than we normally would. <laughs> uh, make it ourselves. And Amy's not wrong, but she really isn't. Amy's 100% right. 
Amy has to be the voice of reason sometimes. Vaughn and Terra Hill will tell you that. Right? Mm-hmm. I love Amy to death. Now, I'm coming up to my 49th birthday, coming up very soon. I won't admit the actual date. Um, however, with, with that being said, one of the biggest parts of our anniversary isn't necessarily my birthday. Uh, it was good, what, 18 years ago, Amy? Yeah. 18 years ago, on my birthday, I met Amy. The best birthday gift I've ever had in the phone given is my beautiful, wonderful wife. Say hello, Shaifa Amy. This is the best birthday gift I could ever get. <laughs> I said that back then, and I still say it now. And as far as cooking, I'll, I'll share a little bit of a story, because it involves somebody really special that's no longer with us, and I, I, I just need to say it. It was my birthday, and uh, my in-laws, which at the time just met me, didn't know them, didn't know me, Aside from my Amy probably told them, um, probably quite a bit, because they were nice enough to let me stay with them the whole time. I told my parents that me and a bunch of buddies were going to Toronto to go see a concert, which my mom was, knew was a lie, because I just don't like flying number one and number two. I don't care about concerts as much as I love music. I just don't like being around a lot of people. But anyways, they drove me to the airport nonetheless, and I went and spent time and met Amy's family. And I'll tell you, they're really, really awesome, really sweet people. Uh, I don't have the in-law syndrome that most people have, like, oh, my in-laws are such jerks and dicks and everything else. They're not. My in-laws are the best in-laws in the world, the whole family. I can't say a negative thing about any one of them. They're really, really good, honest-to-God people. Um, her mother asked me what I wanted for my birthday meal, and I can't... I feel rude saying what I want, and besides the point, I like seafood and Ontario kind of